Hello knowledge seekers, are you tired of spending countless hours sifting through endless research papers? Well, today's video is a game changer. We are introducing you to Research Rabbit, your new best friend in the world of academic exploration. So let's get to it. First, you need to go to researchrabbit.ai and sign up right from here. Once you are logged in, you will land on this particular page. Right over here, you can see we have these three options, new collection, new category, and import Zotero collection. Let me click on new collection. Let's name this collection is MOFs for water purification. Press enter. Now click on add papers. Right over here, you can give the title, DOI, PMID, or a keyword to kickstart your research. I'm gonna give it keyword MOFs for water purification. Before pressing the search, let me show you a few more things. You can click on this particular option, import Zotero collection. What it would do, it would import the collections that you have in your Zotero library like these. And you can also upload a PDF right from here. And based on that PDF, it would sift through relevant literature on the internet. For now, let me find MOF's research paper for water purification. Click on search. And there we are. I have chosen all subject areas. You can simply have a bird eye view of the title and click on add to collection. MOVs. Let me scroll down to find more relevant papers. Application of MOVs is adsorbents in water purification, progress challenges and outlook. This looks quite relevant. Let me add it to my collection. And this paper that is quite recent seems relevant as well so let me add it to the collection as well if you feel you have added something wrong you can remove it right from here and this particular paper by nike is also quite relevant let's add it to our collection i think that is enough let me click outside and these are the research papers that we have just sifted through a lot of papers that seems quite relevant to our research area on the left side, you can see we have this three dots. This shows our collection. We can actually name it, we can delete it, and we can also sync it to our Zotero library as well. Now, based on our collection, Research Rapid has found out 1644 papers that are matching with our title. And it has also shown the work earlier than these particular papers, and this comes out to be only six papers. Down over here, you can see we have 10 authors in these papers. And based on these papers, it has suggested us 32 more authors. Let me click on similar work. And there you can see. Let me click on abstracts. And these are the abstract of the papers that seems quite relevant to our research. Now you can simply click on and you can add it to your collection right from here. Here you can see it has given us a sort of map that actually shows connection between our collection and 50 more research papers. It's a sort of network. We can also choose a different graph type right from here. Let me click on timeline and there you can see. Actually, the research on the MOFs has started in 1999. And who was that guy? Let me click over it. And there you can see Umar M. Jari. So this is actually the pioneer researcher in this particular area. I'm really interested to read about this first paper so I can add it to my collection as well. And you can see as we go ahead, the research ballooned into a lot of research papers. We can click on any one of these. For example, let me click on this particular paper. It's by G. Lee and seems like quite relevant so I can add it to my research as well. Now let me click on the people involved in this research area and these are actually these authors. Let me click on authors and these are the authors who are actively involved in MOFs research, particularly involving water purification. You can actually check each one of these. For example, this Ahmadi Al Sayyidi is working at King Abdulaziz University and look at his citations, 37,124. And similarly, this the Savar Hayat has 85,022 citations. This means that these are actually 
the people currently involved in doing research on MOVs with regard to water purification. Let me click on suggested authors. Let me go back to the author that actually published the first research paper. You can simply close this right from this cross option and right over here. Let me click over it. And this is actually Umar Yaghi. Click on his name. And you can see Umar Yaghi is actually working in Berkeley National Laboratory. And look at the number of publications that he has published over the course of his career. These are 595 publications and a whooping 164,929 citations. And this is actually his published work. And these are the collaborators. Let me click on his published work. And there it is. Let me click on timeline again and right over here you can see the research even extends up to 1995 and these are his most recent research papers. Let me click on this particular paper, the chemistry and application of metal organic frameworks. This is actually an old paper and I don't think I have any value in it particularly with regard to my own research. So I'm not going into its details. Let me cross it. Let's go to suggested authors and look at that. Umar M. Jari and Michael O'Keefe, 430 publications and a whooping 106,000 citations. So using this research paper, actually I have reached to the people who were pioneers in the field of MOFs, where they are working, what kind of papers they've published. So these are actually the top researchers in this particular area. Let me close it. Again, let me close it and again, let me close it the published work right from here once more. And there we are. So here we have found the relevant literature for our research. Now we can click on any of the paper. Let me click over it. So this is the paper. And its PDF is also available. I can read it. If there is a value inside it, then I can let it remain in my collection. Otherwise, I can delete it. Let me select all and I can actually export the paper as RIS, CSV or BibTeX file. Let me click over CSV. So there we are. Let me click over it and it's opening in Excel. Let me double click over here and there we are. So these are the DOI of the papers. These are the titles and this is the abstract of the paper and this is the journal, this is the year and so on. How beautifully we have gathered all the relevant information and brought them into one place. Now we can read them. We have, we have got their DOI number as well. Now we can organize it and write our literature review. Let me go back to research rabbit again. Down at the bottom you can see we have sync to Zotero. If you click on sync to Zotero, it actually asks enter a name for destination collection in Zotero. Let me write MOVS Water Purification 2. Click on OK and successfully created and synced collection of MOVS for water purification 2 in Zotero. Let's go to Zotero to see where this particular file exists. And there we are MOVS for water purification. Click over it. And there you can see all the relevant literature. If you click on this first one, you can read its abstract right from here. You can actually take notes. You can add your tags as well. So we can easily sync our literature right with Zotero as well. Let me click on add papers. Now you can upload a file like RIS or BibTeX file over here and find the relevant literature as well. And you can also go to import Zotero collection. And these are actually the files that my Zotero library has. If I'm going to click on, let's say lithium ion batteries, start sync, and let me give it a name, LIBs, press OK. And there you can see. Since this collection don't have any paper, we can actually click over here to add a title or keyword. Let me write LIBs for electric vehicles. Enter. And there you can see it has sifted through the entire internet and found out the relevant literature for us. Now we can add it to our collection right from here. And there we are. These are our two papers right over here. If you choose the comment, 
you can add a comment to your paper as well and rest of the things are quite like as i've shown you in case of mobs for water purification i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching